In this problem, we have a density function, f of y, and we have three different questions. Part A is to find the distribution function for little f of y. And then part B and C, we have to find probabilities, which we can do once we have part A. Uh, part B and C shouldn't be um, too difficult to do. So let's go ahead and start by doing part A. So solution to A. So recall that big F of y is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to y of f of t dt. So we'll just have to carefully take cases to figure out what it is. So let's first focus on the case where y is less than 0. And I say that because I'm trying to go from the smaller numbers to the bigger numbers. You see here it's between 0 and 1. Here it's between 1 and 1.5, and then here it's everywhere else. So for y less than 0, okay, so we're looking at the case where y is a number less than 0, we want f of y. And that's going to be the improper integral from negative infinity to y of f of t dt. Now, we need to figure out what that is. So because y is a number less than 0, it falls in this category here, in the elsewhere category. This will just be 0 dt. If you integrate 0, you get a constant c. And because we have limits of integration, what's going to happen is you'll get a constant minus a constant. So you'll end up getting 0. So this will be equal to 0. So for y less than 0, it's simply equal to 0. OK. Let's go ahead and do the case now uh, for y uh, between 0 and 1. So between 0 and 1. So in this case, f of y, big F of y, is equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to y f of t dt. So y is a number uh, between 0 and 1. So we're integrating from negative infinity to y. So that would mean that we have to go from negative infinity to 0. And then we know that whenever that's the case, it's going to be 0. And then plus, and then from 0 to y, where y is a number uh, between 0 and 1. And in that case, we simply use y. So that'll be t dt, right, because it's not y. The dummy variable is t in this case. So we know this first integral is going to be 0 because, again, it's going to integrate to a constant. And you have limits of integration. So you'll end up with a constant minus a constant, which is equal to 0. And so integrating this one is going to give us t squared over 2 using the power rule, right? adding 1 to the exponent and dividing. And we're going from 0 to y. We plug in the y first, so we get y squared over 2. Subtract and plug in the 0, so just 0 squared, which is 0 over 2. So we end up with y squared over 2. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to start putting these in boxes because we're going to need these to fill in the final answer later. OK, now let's look at the case where y is between 1 and 1 1.5. So for, uh, so for y between 1.5 and 1. Uh, no, you can put a less than or equal to here because when you plug in 1 here, you're going to get 1. And then here, you also get 1. So at 1, these actually agree. So there's no issue here. You can actually go ahead and, and put an equality symbol here. No big deal. All righty. So big F of y in this case. Again, it's the improper integral from negative infinity to y of f of t dt. And again, now we're going all the way to y. So from negative infinity all the way to y, which is a number uh, between uh, 1 and 1.5. So that would mean that we could break it up by going from negative infinity to 0. And we know it's going to be 0 in that case. And then from 0 to 1. And we know in that case it's going to be y, so it's just t. And then we'll go from 1 to y, 
or y is a number between 1 and 1.5. And in that case, if you look here up top in the middle piece, we know that's going to be 1. So it's going to be 1. Whoops, messed up there. My, it's my computer. <laughs> so this is going to be 1. Whoops, 1 dt. Here we go, 1 dt. Uh, again, so we're going from negative infinity to y, and y is a number between 1 and 1.5. So we first go to 0, and then we go from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to y. So you have to cover all of the integration pieces. So this is equal to, so this first one's going to be 0 plus. This next one, um, you just add 1 and divide, so it'd be t squared over 2. And we're going from 0 to the number 1. And the next one uh, simply integrates to t. Uh, so we're going to t, and we're going from 1 all the way to y. Okay, good stuff. This is equal to, first you plug in the 1, so you simply get um, 1 over 2. Then you subtract, and you plug in 0, and you get 0. Plus, and this one here, you plug in the y, subtract, plug in 1. So we have 1 half plus y minus 1. That's just going to be y minus 1 half, right? Because negative 1 and uh, a 1 half will give us negative 1 half. All right, last piece is going to be for y bigger than 1.5. So for y bigger than uh, 1.5. see what happens here. So if we really want to break it up correctly, we have to consider all the cases. So we're doing from f of y, that's equal to the improper integral from negative infinity to y, f of t dt. And we'll just break it up according to the function. As before, let me just go back up to the function to show you. So we'll go from negative infinity to 0, then from 0 to 1, and then from 1 to 1 1.5, and then from 1.5 to y, just like just like before. So just breaking it up uh, and, and integrating each piece. So the first one is from negative infinity to 0. And we know there it's 0. And then from 0 to 1, and let me just scroll back up to refresh your memory. From 0 to 1, it's equal to y. So in this case, it'll just be t. So it'll be t in this case, so t dt. And then from 1 to 1 1.5, that was 1, so 1 dt. And uh, from 1.5 to y, and that's going to be 0 because um, it's 0 elsewhere, remember? Uh, so bigger than 1.5 is, is actually 0. All right. So this is equal to, so this first one is going to be 0. So 0 plus, this one will integrate to t squared over 2. So t squared over 2. And this is 0 to 1 plus. The next one integrates to t, because 1 integrates to t, and this is 1 to 1 1.5. And the very last one is 0, so and we know that that one is going to be, that's a y there, by the way. The last one is going to be uh, 0 as well, so plus 0. Because uh, when you integrate 0, you get a constant, you have a definite integral, so you end up subtracting the constant, so um, you get 0. So this is equal to, plugging in the 1 here will give us 1 half. Subtract, plug in 0, that'll give us 0, plus. Here we plug in 1.5, subtract, plug in 1. This is equal to 1 half, and then 1.5 minus 1 is 0.5. So 1 half plus 0.5. Well, that's just 0.5 plus 0.5, or 1 half plus 1 half. So that, my friends, is 1. Okay, <sighs> let's go ahead and write the answer down now. So the final answer to part A, a lot of work, big F of Y is our cumulative distribution function. It's this giant piecewise function. Okay, so let's look at each piece individually. So the first part, uh, for y less than 0, we got 0. That was uh, right here. So I'm going to go ahead and, and fill that in. So that was 0 for y less than 0. And then uh, the next part uh, was y between 1 and uh, I believe it was 1 and 0. Yeah, 1 and 0. And I think we had y squared over 2. Yeah, here it is. So between 0 and 1, we had y squared over 2. So y squared over 2. 
And then uh, we had the next piece was between 1 and 1 1.5. That was this one. And we just had y minus uh, 1 half in that case. So between 1 and 1 1.5, we had y minus 1 half. And the very last case was y bigger than uh, 1.5. That was here. And we ended up with an answer of 1. Wow, what a bunch of work. So 1.5, and the answer is 1. There it is. That's how pros do it. There is the distribution function. Now we can answer the other questions. So part B, I believe it was a probability question. Yeah, I want the probability that y is between 0 and 5. Let me write that down. So 0.5. So we want the probability that y is between 0 and uh, point, point 0.5. So the way to do this, uh, well, the way I do it is as follows. This is equal to, whenever it looks like this, I call this the between probability. This is the probability that big Y is less than or equal to 0.5 minus the probability that big Y is less than or equal to 0. Okay, that's the formula. If you have P of A less than or equal to X less than or equal to B, this is always equal to P of X less than or equal to B minus P of X less than or equal to A. So this is a very useful formula um, that's totally worth memorizing. Now, what is this? Well, keep in mind that big F of Y, by definition, is the probability that big Y is less than or equal to little y. So here, your little y is 0.5. So this first probability is just big F of 0.5. That's actually what it is. Minus, and then this would be big F of 0. So now we just use our function, which is awesome. So, so 0.5 is between 0 and 1. So you plug in 0.5 here. So you're plugging in 1 half into the, uh, into the, into the y. So it's 1 half squared, or 0.5 squared, over 2, minus, and then f of 0, you plug it into the same place. So it'll be 0 squared over 2. This will be 1 fourth over 2 minus 0. So that's really 1 fourth. So when you divide by 2, you really multiply by the reciprocal. So it's times 1 half. So it's 1 eighth. So that's the answer to part B. Right? It's the answer to part B. Uh, part C, same thing, 0.5 and 1.2. So we want the probability that 0.5 is less than or equal to y, which is less than or equal to 1.2. So it's another between probability. Using our same formula, this is going to be the probability that big Y is less than or equal to 1.2 minus the probability that big Y is less than or equal to 0.5. And as before, by the definition of the distribution function, this is big F of 1.2 minus big F of 0.5. And then we just use our formula, which is really nice. So 1.2 now, uh, that means we're using this piece here because 1.2 is between 1 and 1.5. So plugging in 1.2 for the y, we're going to have 1.2 minus 1 half and then minus, and then f of 0.5, that's going to be this one up here. So um, that will be, uh, again, it's 0.5 squared over 2. So this is equal to, let's see if we can do it uh, mostly, mostly by hand. We don't have to do it all by hand. Um, so this will be 1.2 minus 0.5, okay, because 1 half is 0.5. And this piece here is 1 eighth. We worked it out over here, you see, it's the same thing. So minus 1 eighth. Okay, so this is going to be uh, 0.7 minus uh, 1 eighth. I believe 1 eighth is 0.125. Let me just get my calculator. Yes, it is. So this is 0.7 minus 0.125. And I'll just play it safe. Um, I got 0.575, which should be the uh, correct answer to this problem. So kind of a long problem, um, but this is a good example in the sense that it shows you how to find a uh, distribution function and then how to compute probabilities. And it's a nice example because there's, there's multiple cases. There's more cases 
sometimes you just have two cases. Here you have, you know, a lot more, uh, a lot more going on. So I hope this video has been helpful.